The last Pasuk in Chameshi talks about the Choshen, which is placed upon the Ephod. That the Torah says that uh, that you put the Ephod on top, that you put, excuse me, the Choshen on top of the Ephod. You can't move it from a, from a top of the, the Ephod. And the Pnina Torah explains that what this is teaching us is, is an important idea that uh, that the Gemara tells us that the Choshen is mechaper for the dinin, for interpersonal uh, judgments between one and another. And the Ephod is being mechaper on the chit of Abu Zara, atones for the sin of Abu Zara. And explains the Pnei Torah that we see that these two items, these two clothings, are being mechaper for two fundamentally different types of averos: one for dinin, one for interpersonal matters, and another for avodazara, for something which has been adam lemakom. Explains the Pnei Torah: Lo yizachachoshem These can't be disconnected because. Bin Adam Lechaver and Bin Adam Lemakum cannot be disconnected. That we can't simply be serving God and we can't simply have positive, good, healthy relationships. It's essential that these are interwoven, that these are linked together. But we can't differentiate the two. It is not a matter of complete avodis Hashem. It is not a matter of, of growing if we don't do both. So therefore, he says what the Torah is telling us, we can't detach, we can't separate these two garments, these two items, which intrinsically represent the connection between bin Adam Lechaver and bin Adam Lamakum. They are inherently connected one to another. These two big God are connected one to another, just like bin Adam Lechaver and bin Adam are connected to one another. To be a full Eved Hashem, to be a ben Torah, to be someone who is committed to Torah and growth and Yiddishkeit, is to be someone that is both fully dedicated to improving, to growing, to, to holding ourselves to the highest of standards for both matters. We cannot have one without the other. Have a great day.